The lawsuit alleging former Charleston police chief Tyke Hunt engaged in sexual misconduct and abused his power with a former Charleston police officer will go on as is. The city attempting to dismiss parts of it, but as Anna Saunders joins us live in the studio to explain, those attempts were denied. Anna? Gina, that's right. Chelsea McCoy, a former Charleston police officer, filed suit in March against the city of Charleston, former police chief Tyke Hunt, and former chief of detectives Richie Basford. The city's attorneys attempted to get the claims for wrongful termination, emotional distress, and punitive damages tossed out, arguing that this was more so accusations pointed to the two individuals named. Judge Jennifer Bailey disagreed. I do not. Uh, grant the defendant's motion to dismiss. Chelsea McCoy and her attorney, Howard Moe Persinger, pleased with Judge Bailey's ruling that the lawsuit can continue on with all of its components. Particularly pleased that she didn't dismiss any parts of our case. She recognized that they need to go forward and uh, be adjudicated in the court system uh, before, hopefully before a jury, uh, so we can get justice here for Chelsea here, who deserves it. The city attempted to get the claims of emotional distress, punitive damages, and wrongful termination tossed from the lawsuit, arguing the city's immunity. She states that she was constructively discharged by the two individual defendants. Uh, the complaint is replete with allegations of wrongdoing by these two individual defendants without an adverse employment action that the city knew about or directed impliedly or explicitly, all she has are the intentional wrongful acts by one or two individuals. We had a chance to sit down with McCoy in August of last year where she told us Hunt tampered with her polygraph results when she was trying to join the department. She was nervous about passing, which is a requirement to join the force because of previous drug use. She said the two had inappropriate sexual interactions in the polygraph room with an understanding that he would help her pass. The two became involved again in 2020 when he was chief. Basford comes into play because McCoy said he was the one who told her to resign in 2022 for unspecified conduct unbecoming of an officer. But she asked for text exchanges, text exchanges between the two individual defendants that relate to the subject of her complaint. We produced that. Everything that was related to personal or business, we redacted that. There was some back and forth between the plaintiff and the city about evidence that's been produced, depositions that have not been done, the timing, and what's been redacted or left out. Due to the volume of it, meaning 2,000 pages and 50 hours of recorded witness interviews, Judge Bailey asked they get a discovery commissioner to work through that. McCoy was joined in the courtroom by members of Charleston City Council who have been critical of how this complaint was handled internally. She was also joined by Jenny Harless, another Hunt accuser who was also suing Hunt and the city. Both accusations came out around the same time last year, resulting in Hunt stepping down. Chelsea is a, a brave woman. Uh, she's been wronged in this situation, and we're very hopeful that we can uh, rectify some part of that using the court system. Now, Hunt did resign as chief when all of these accusations came out. He was just recently able to retire with a disability pension. Trial for McCoy's civil case against him, Basford, and the city is set for 2025. Live in the studio, Anna Saunders, Eyewitness News. Thanks so much for watching. Here's another video from Eyewitness News. Just click right here to subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that bell notification to get the very latest.